going to Cantrell. Um, don't really know what to expect. I feel like she might diagnose me with Tourette's, but we don't know. So um, I'll let you know um, how it goes. But yeah. Um, <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> No! No! I think she's done all the tests that she can do, so I don't know what else the involuntary movements and sounds would be, so we'll see what she has to say. No! No! They let us back here pretty fast though. Like as soon as we got here, they let us back here. Which is surprising because we're late normally. We have to wait forever. So. So I'm going to be looking for a new neurologist. Um, she, I don't feel like she's helping me. She says things that I don't think she should say. Um, you know, I went to the, um, I did my EE, what do you call it? The electrode thing on your head. I'll put a name on the screen. I can't think right now. And they said it might be psychological. And I'm like, no, it's not. Um, and at this point in time, I wasn't as vocal. And um, it was my arms and my head flipping back. I'll insert a clip. I have them. Um, I don't have them all the time, but they are a little painful. I have like this tightening sensation and like a pulling sensation kind of like in my neck and it goes from my neck through my shoulders <laughs> 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 And, um, she brought that up to again today that it might be psychological and I'm like I think it's Tourette's and um, I was so I recorded some stuff when I got out of the doctor's office. I don't really know if I'm going to show y'all it or not. I'll find out when I'm editing. How I how, how I feel for how I feel for it or whatnot. I'm really out of breath right now, but um, I think this is a good time to, to kind of talk to y'all about how I'm feeling. Feeling very frustrated and... No. Ooh. Um. Aggravated. She's. 
got a lot of negative reviews on her um, Google thing, and I should have listened to those. I don't know why I didn't. I didn't find out about them until um, the first time I saw her, and I didn't really like her the first time I saw her, and I should have listened to that, but some people told me that I should just give her a chance, you know, and I think it's been four months now. And we still don't know anything except that I have hypogammaglobinemia. And the only reason we know that is because I came back on a blood test. She's done shit after, like, she's done test after test after test and, and no, she doesn't tell us anything. She doesn't really even give us an explanation of really of why she's doing the test. She'll give us a vague answer, but it's never detailed like I want it to be. She gaslights me too much, like today. I got upset with her and I started crying and she told me I needed to stop crying. Not really understanding. I, I felt like when she did that she wasn't understanding my frustration. She was more annoyed of me showing emotion, I think, and um, then told me that I needed that. Then oh, I can't talk. As soon as she told me that I needed to... Um, I can't think. Just be patient. <laughs> as soon as I, um, as soon as she told me that I, as soon as she told me that I needed to calm down, she says, are you seeing a psychologist? And I'm like, no, I'm not. I don't need to see a psychologist. I can be frustrated and show feeling and not need to go to a psychologist. Nothing that's wrong with going to a psychologist, but right now, I don't have money to go to a psychologist. I would love to go to a psychologist, but also finding a psychologist is really hard. I have a lot on my plate. And she didn't tell me that out of a thing of concern. She told me that because she's a cunt. Like, I think it's passive-aggressive. I don't know how she was being, but there is a word for what she was doing. <laughs> So I replied, no, I don't need to go to a psychologist to tell, so that they can tell me what I already know. Which probably sounded, uh, what is the word? Like a hypochondriac to her. But I, I already know what's wrong. I've gone through a lot of rape. I have trauma from my childhood. And I have trauma from doctors and being sick. I know what's wrong with me. I, I can talk, I can, I talk that out to myself privately through videos and I either save them or delete them or um, maybe I won't even record it. Maybe I'll just sit in my room and talk to myself. People probably think that's weird but that's my therapy right now and I think it's working. I've done a lot of self-improvement that I never did when I was in therapy and part of that is because when I was in therapy I wasn't wanting to get better but it was very rude of her to say that. Um, so then we went on to say, to like, she asked me what I'm confused about, and I'm like, what do you mean what am I confused about? You come in here and use words like hypogammaglobinemia. I know what that means now because I've looked it up. But when she first started using that word, I'm like, are you going to explain to me what that means? Like, you can't use big words like that if you're not going to explain to your patient what they mean. Like. Apparently a bunch of people come to her and she spills out all this bullshit information She tells them what test she wants to get done. They say okay, and then she gives a medication If she's gonna give a medication and apparently they don't ask what they're giving the medication for like who does that who is so Like It's not in my hands about their health Because that's the type of doctor she seems to be she seems to be the type that wants to be able to tell that wants like, she's not working for me. She was never working for me. Like, she, it felt like she thinks that she's in control of my health, and it's the opposite. She is a fucking highly paid consultant. And honestly, like, I don't know how, like, I'm so frustrated. And then when I got upset, you know, another thing after the whole like therapy thing she said that um she had the balls and like i oh, i'm so mad i'm sorry she fucking said 
that where did your ticks and sniffing go away when you got upset with me? Like really, a doctor is going to to say that about Tourette's? Tourette's is not at all the same. I don't know what I can't think of the word right now, but it's it's never like. I wish I could think right now. It'd be beautiful. Okay, so I got the word. It's consistent. Tourette's is never consistent. It is the most inconsistent, like, syndrome, I think, ever, probably. It's one day you could have a uh, no vocal ticks, and the next day you can have it. Like, today I got, like, two more ticks. Like, whoo! It never, it's never the same. <clears throat> you know, I used to be able to hold off long enough in videos to not tick and stuff. Um, I feel like it's distracting, especially when I'm trying to think because it distracts myself mainly. So I've always kind of like made videos when I'm less... <gasps> I don't know. I can't really do that now because I'm kind of constantly, every five minutes doing this. So it's definitely progressed, you know, in a matter of months just that's the scary thing about it I think and the fact that it's like you know she was so she's just so slow doing tested retested retested not giving me anything and the whole time here I'm getting worse and I feel bad for the future people she's gonna do this to because she doesn't seem like she cares at all she doesn't seem like she cares about her patients um, she seemed annoyed with my personality. Um, I ask a lot of questions, and I was, and I gave her a list of symptoms, and she looked at it funny. She was just, I don't know why I didn't leave sooner. I talked about it before several times. I should have left then. I should have, like, this is ridiculous. I feel like part of this is my fault, because I knew I wasn't comfortable with her. My parents don't really understand this. I don't understand it. Tourette's or whatever this is, is very complicated. And, you know, it's like something in the back of your head that's making you want to, making you do things that you don't want to do. It doesn't make any sense. It, the sensation's in the back of my neck and it's just, oh, awful. Huh? Huh? Hmm. No! Hmm. <laughs> No! 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 We'll see. She referred me to somebody. Um, I'm probably going to go to the few people that she's referred me to because she sent me to this person that's supposed to do a sleep study and then I got referred to somebody that's supposed to be able to diagnose Tourette's because I didn't know it but she specializes in seizures and that's why she was looking at seizures in the beginning because that's what she specializes in. So that was a waste. Like I knew I didn't have seizures and now I know the only reason she wanted to check for seizures is because that's what she specializes in. Like just because you specialize in something doesn't mean that everybody's going to ha have seizures that comes to you. Like I don't, I am so upset with her right now, but this is part of the journey. This shit happens. Doctors aren't always the smartest people in the world, sadly. I need a doctor that's going to work with me. And I'll find it. I'll find it. Just you wait. But. I want to say, if anybody is going through this too right now, please don't give up. If there's a shitty doctor, go to a new one. If you can. If it's not that simple, work with the doctor as best you can. I'm glad and I'm lucky that I can change doctors. Um, I'm going, I think I'm going to be going to a, a guy this time. He's a little bit closer, I believe. And he'll, he takes Medicaid, so it'll be cheaper too. So hopefully it'll be good. He's got some good um, reviews, so we'll see. Fingers crossed. But remember, whatever you do, do not give up. You will find your answers. You deserve them. Everybody deserves them. You know what's, there's something wrong with your body. Don't let doctors gaslight you and make you question yourself. Because I know they are 
there is doctors out there that will do it. And when they gaslight you, it without a doubt will make you question yourself. But don't for a second listen to them. Push through those feelings and do the best you can to help your health because you're the only person that can, you know? You gotta self-advocate. And sadly, a lot of doctors feel when get the impression when you self-advocate that you have hype, uh, what is it called? Hypochondriac, yeah. The people she referred me to is a sleep person, so they'll do, like, a, I'll go in during the day and take a nap somewhere. Um, that's to find out why I'm so tired, hopefully, because that sleep study that I did told her that I was just sleeping a lot, which is... I already told her that. I don't know why she needed to do a sleep apnea test, which again, that was a waste. But the other test is like a, they're going to swab the inside of my mouth and check for um, a certain gene. And it um, causes um, Alzheimer's and Alzheimer's runs in our family. And so she says that could be what's causing that cognitive issues. So. I haven't officially fired her yet, she's still doing shit for me, but I am going to be seeing a doctor and getting everything transferred over. Once everything is trans over, once, bleh, once everything is transferred over, then I will officially be like, see you later. So, uh, that's it. Um, look forward to my stimming video, um, it'll be the next video that you see up, and um, as always, I love you, and thank you for being alive, and don't give up. Bye.